Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be prepping the huge slab of a fossil I found on my last fossil hunting trip. So if you guys haven't watched the vlog of me literally digging this one out, I'll link it at the top of the description box if you'd like to see me in action finding it. But today's video we're going to be prepping it. So it is a crushed ammonite but a decently sized ones. I will flip my camera over so you can see it before I start cleaning it up. I think I'm going to time lapse this one so fingers crossed it turns out well. Um, hopefully if you're watching this it does, we will see. Sorry there is a plane going over my house. I don't know if you guys can hear that but I can so it just puts me off my train of thought a little bit. Oh it is going a bit loud. There we go, it's starting to go away. But um, yes, I'm gonna be prepping this using dental tools and a scalpel and a toothbrush because I don't wanna get it wet because it's really fragile and I'm gonna have to like drip paraloid down the layers of this piece because they are literally just wanting to come apart and it needs them for support. So let's flip you over, give you a look at what we're working with, but I really hope you guys enjoy this video and I really hope it turns out well because I mean, this was not an easy one to get off the beach not an easy one it's just a really awkward size like it literally is like a tabletop um so trying to carry it was a little bit awkward but i got it home i strapped it in my car and uh didn't break at all which is amazing because it's it seems to be very fragile right i'm gonna stop rambling now i hope you're doing well by the way i forgot to you know say that but um comment below what you think i should say that at the end of the video where it's actually been successful but let's flip you over <laughs> this is the size of it so it's a pretty big piece but i'm really excited to see what this one preps like and you won't believe the name of the species i feel like it's really relevant in the current times it's a coronariceros I kind of think that's quite funny that it's literally got the same name as a virus going around at the moment. But um, you can literally see the shell around here. Let me just get it to focus on it. Why is it not focusing? There you go. So you can see the shell is already exposed here a little bit and the edge bit there. So the rest of it is all under this sort of muddy layer and look at the ribs. Like it's all there. It's quite a hefty piece, I must say. So I'm really excited to see what this piece is gonna prep out like. But there's also the shell exposed here. Now these ribs are going in this direction, like dun dun dun, and these ones go like this. So I think this might be from the same ammonite, but a little bit of a broken piece. So we're gonna see what we're dealing with. I'm really excited to see this one prepped. I just hope, I hope it preps nicely. So this is the before, so you can see the slab is a pretty, it's pretty big, it's also got the imprint of one down here, but as you can see, the layers on this piece, it just wants to crumble apart. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drip paraloid down the edge bits here. So I'm actually gonna let it like seep into the fossil. So I'm gonna have to put it on its side and just drip it down. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a lot of work, but I need to get these layers kind of glued together. Otherwise, if this top layer just sheets off, this ammonite is going to have no strength to itself whatsoever so it's got to be done it's got to be done so i'm going to take you guys with me on this one the paraloid i use at the moment is by zoic paleotech i hope i'm saying it right i will link it down below if you guys are after it it does the job really nicely and i'm new to the prep world and they have just been the most helpful company ever so seriously check them out and i will be buying proper big air tools one day but maybe when i finish my masters now because I don't think I'm going to be able to carry, you know, <laughs> massive machinery round whilst I'm travelling all over the place for two years. So I'll have to be patient and just prep using a scalpel, but I'm so excited to start this one. So I don't have loads of paraloid. Sorry, I tried to move my camera so you could like see the fossil when I put it on its side, but you're just getting my torso basically. But look, matchy matchy, always. So I haven't got loads of paraloid made up right now. I'm going to make up some more overnight tonight. So we've got, we're dealing with this, but last time when I made this, I thought this wasn't gonna stretch over all the ammonites I found, but it stretched and more, like this is leftover. So it goes a long way, this stuff. So you don't need a lot. You really don't need a lot. <sighs> I literally don't know where to begin. Maybe I should begin by brushing it down. I'm also gonna angle you guys so you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna start by just giving it a good old brush because there's lots of mud on top of this one. And I don't wanna like, I'm just going to try and get some of the excess off before I turn it on its side and it all falls off anyway. <laughs> so you can actually see like dots where I hit my hammer because um, I didn't quite know how big the ammonite was. So you can see like my mistakes 
where I nearly destroyed the ammonite, but like they're literally round the edge, like they're here, the ammonite's here. We're talking like less than an inch. <laughs> so I got very lucky, so it just shows me that this ammonite really wants to be seen, and I hope it's worth it. Well, bye bye to that piece. That wasn't part of the ammonite, it's just part of the shale stuff, so let's just get this out. So I did mention when I found this piece, but I think it's good to mention it again. Um, I had permission to collect these pieces because they're for a scientific study. So once I prep these all beautifully, the photos will be used for research purposes in analysing the area. So you do need to be careful when you go to fossil hunting sites, and that's one of the reasons why I don't, you know, advertise where I am fossil hunting, just because, you know, some of the places I go to you need special permission to be there, it might be private land, it might be you know protected, so you do just need to you need to check things first, so I do just really want to promote that to you guys not to you know do anything stupid without checking first. It's always good to have permission, always good. So where I've lifted up the middle bit, can you see all those little bumps? around the ribs, so they're the nodes, they're like, don't know how to describe nodes if you don't know what they are, but on the, the long ribs, they're like a bump kind of thing, and that's one way we, we know it's this species, and even to have the nodes on a crushed ammonite I think is just fabulous, so I need to still remove some of this stuff here, but the fact the imprint's all there, and you can even see, I think the middle's all there, you can see kind of the swirling inwards, so I'm not going to rush this one, you know, bit by bit I'm going to reveal it and I am so excited. I haven't put the paraloid down the sides yet because I just, I need, maybe I should do that first before I keep going. I think so, I'll do that. Okay, I've paraloided up all the edges, but I think I've got most of it on my hands by the look of it. But I let it drip down as much as it could. I think I'll do it again tomorrow when I make some more paraloid. But I think I'm going to carry on with lifting off the surface now so I'm not gonna jump the gun at all I'm gonna do it layer by layer just to make sure I don't miss anything and also that I can you know lower the chances of destroying this fossil as much as possible because it is just I think it's gonna be absolutely stunning like I am so excited I hope you guys are excited to see the finished finish product as well So I've just finished taking off a load of the layers and you can see the node starting to poke through so I think I'm only about one layer away before I reveal all of it. I'm gonna have to like sand down these edge bits though because the paraloid has literally dripped down these layers and then I decided to remove them. Probably the wrong order but we're just gonna fix it afterwards I think but she's all there you can literally see the whirls into the middle so I thought I would do a kind of like a it's about halfway there video a little update for you guys so you can see it just in case something goes wrong but it's a big ammonite like I'm so excited to see this one done and I've got hand reference do you guys remember the wonderful <laughs> Jodie who helped me helped me get this one out so she's come to see how it's looking but I think another another day's work and we should be there so I'm going to spend tomorrow on it and um yeah you guys will come with me so I don't know why I'm telling you that but yeah, I'm going to call it for today because my camera cannot take any more and then we're going to do some more.
so this is where we're at currently and it is not prepping nicely so i don't know if you guys can see but underneath the sort of muddy layer it's just crumbling so it's almost like grains of sand under it so all the detailing is being lost all the nodes are kind of crumbling away so i think i'm gonna ask my professor for some tips i think but i think i'm gonna put paraloid on top of this as it is quite a few layers maybe and then I'm actually going to do quite a big no-no and go through the other side to see if the other side of this fossil looks nice. Because I've got nothing to lose, it's not prepping nicely this way round, so the underside of it might be in much better shape or in even worse shape. But I lose nothing trying to get to it, but as you can see, you know, I've attempted in quite a few places and they all seem to just, it's almost like they're hollow like inside it just is crumbling like sand the outer world isn't too bad but i think this is actually the lower piece of shell i might be wrong but it seems it doesn't seem to crumble like the rest so yeah i think i'm going to try a challenge and go in from the other side which might go terribly wrong but uh you guys can have a go with me Okay, so I think in the meantime what I'm going to do because this side of the fossil is prepping so poorly and it's almost like the shell is in really bad preservation state because it's literally just a powder I'm going to put some paraloid on it just to preserve it as it is or to give it strength when I then go in from the other side so I'm going to put the paraloid on then get some advice whether it's worth you know lifting off the layers and seeing if the other side of it is preserved better but obviously that will mean it will be like a millimetre thick but I'm willing to give it a go. I've got nothing to lose at this stage. Um, so yeah, let's do it. So I've applied a healthy layer of paraloid to the entire sort of fossil end surrounding area just to give it a bit more strength. Um, so I'm going to let this dry fully because some bits are a little bit thicker where I wanted to give it more support. So there was a little kind of trench there that is very, very weak, especially around the shell. So I thought we'll put some more down there. Um, just because I think I will, I will probably put another layer of paraloid on it and then I'm going to flip the fossil over it and start kind of digging down in the rock to get to it. Um, so we're going to see how this one's going to turn out. It's definitely going to be an adventure. A lot more work than I thought, but hopefully it's going to be worth it because it is a beautiful piece. I just couldn't get it to, you know, reveal itself without crumbling. So hopefully this way we'll actually salvage it. Fingers crossed anyway, but this is where we're at currently. So I was attempting to make some more paraloid and I wanted to clean out my jar first because it had, you can see, bits of rock around the sides. So I dropped some acetone in it, it already had a bit of the paraloid solution left. So I put some acetone in it, shook it about, seemed to clean it up quite nicely. Then I thought, what would be a great idea? Let's put some water with the acetone to dilute it so I can then pour it out the jar. And I think I've had like a chemical reaction. I'll flip you guys around so you can see it, but you can see the jar is no longer clear 
um, and it's kind of made like a cloud inside it, which is kind of cool, so I thought I'd share. But now I've got to find another jar somewhere in my house, which is actually surprisingly hard to do when you want one, um, which means... Yeah, I might not be able to make more paraloid solution overnight, which is really sad. So I might have to just be patient with this fossil and prep it over a few days. But yeah, so my jar is no longer. So I don't know if you guys will be able to see, but it's kind of like cotton wool in a way, like at the bottom. And it's all around the edges as well. So I've kind of... I don't know what I've done, but I've definitely done something to the uh, the paraloid stuff because it's made kind of like a I don't know plastic fabric in a way, which is kind of cool. I thought it was cool. Well, I'm learning a lot through trial and error at the moment, and it's safe to say I won't do that again. But I thought thought you guys might enjoy seeing my mistakes. <laughs> I'm gonna try and zoom in and see if it lets you look inside it. It like focuses for a split second. Let me zoom in. It's not gonna let you see it, is it? Almost looks like an iceberg on here. Ta-da! Hey guys and welcome to another part of yet the same video. I feel like I'm making a documentary here for you guys rather than the prep of a single crushed ammonite. So it's misbehaving and take this video as an example of when not all fossils go to plan. I thought this was gonna be a really easy prep, turn out beautiful, but it really hasn't, has it? But I'm not giving up. This is the lovely sound of dried paraloid, two coats. So it's made a lovely kind of plastic layer on top of the side of the fossil that was really just misbehaving. You know, it's basically sand underneath. So I decided to stop there. I was making no progress with that side. So I'm gonna flip it over, go in the other side, and hopefully find a shell in some form of decent preservation state. You just never know with these things, but that is the fun of fossil hunting. You just, I say fossil hunting, fossil prep. I thought this was gonna be the most perfect prep, but it's uh, proving me wrong to say the least. But I've made some fresh paraloid. So this is lovely and clear, which is what we like, rather than a cloud like you saw previously. That was rather unfortunate of myself. Oh, and just uh, icing on the cake. Like this Fossil Friday has been so complicated for me to put together because guess who broke her camera today? But luckily, guess who bought a warranty for their camera that covers accidental damage? Because yeah, it was my fault. You know, I kind of dropped it and you're not meant to drop cameras, but it's fine. I can still use it. I just can't zoom or focus the lens because I've kind of, that's what I've messed up. So. I'll get a replacement lens ASAP, but for you guys, we're just going to work with it basically. But I'll come show you what we're working with and then I'm going to try and start prepping this bad boy. Here she is. So she looks a bit messy because I've done two coats of paraloid, so it's gone a bit cloudy, but it's not too important because if I wanted this side beautiful, I could use acetone to remove the paraloid and then just put a nice one layer on it. But because I wanted it extra strong, I put two coats on it and it's almost like, it literally feels like a plastic on top of it now. So hopefully it's gonna be strong enough to allow me to kind of go down the layers, but it's just gonna be an experiment, this one. You know, so I hope you guys enjoy watching me low-key destroy a fossil. <laughs>
I think this fossil is going to be the end of me. I think I've been defeated, but we're now going to stick it onto another slab of slate to see if I can revive this fossil. <laughs> Okay, so I've managed to save it. I've super glued it back onto another kind of piece of rock that came off in the initial prep. Um, it doesn't look terrible on this piece. I don't know if it's worth prepping fully because as you can see, I don't know if you can see the detail of it, it's also quite badly preserved underneath, but better than the other side. So I'm umming and ahhing about taking more off or just paraloiding it as it is. Um, God, this is a stressful prep. <laughs> I've decided guys that we're going to conclude Fossil Friday here, um, time of death being, <laughs> I've tried really hard with this fossil but it has just been one nightmare after another and you can see under the shell here it's very much powdery as well, almost like a chalk and I just think it's not worth putting paraloid on it to try and save it because it's just, yeah the detail is just not there but it was fun to try and prep nonetheless. And I've definitely learned a fair bit from trying to prep this one, but yeah, it's important to know that not all fossils go to plan when you're prepping them. I thought it was just important to let you guys see this because not every fossil prep is a success and it is important to, you know, know that they're not all going to go to plan and this one very much hasn't. I thought this was going to be a really easy breezy prep and it has just been a nightmare. So. Remember, if one fails, just find another. It's the beauty of fossil hunting. And you just don't know how they're, you know, these are 200 million year old fossils. You don't know what's trapped in between the rock. It might be beautiful or it might be powdery, yellowy, white shell like this one. But that's just, just my luck this time. So I know this was a long video for you guys to maybe not see the most beautiful result. But ta-da! <laughs> Happy Fossil Friday, guys! Um, so I'll link on my social media down below if you'd like to check that out. Um, may this fossil rest in peace. I hope you're all doing well. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.